Hey guys, so it's 2021 and bikes have not really changed. Uh, if anything, they're getting worse. But uh, this video is just to show how V brakes are, are better than, than disc brakes. And uh, this is in regards not to um, mountain bikes over like a thousand dollars. This is this is just for the majority of bicycles out there. Uh, they're using these kind of low quality uh, disc brakes. They're they're still aluminum, but the the amount of weight that this thing has is just ridiculous. Same as this one. It's all aluminum, but it's so heavy, and that that's the 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 caliper. Uh, that's not including the the hub and the rotor. Uh, what 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 the what it is is it's it's a gimmick by the manufacturers. They put these these uh, uh, disc brakes on, and they they actually work uh, not as good as the old style uh, V brakes that were made by uh, Pro Max and and Shimano and stuff like that that were included with the. The Shimano V-brake system. This is alloy, aluminum alloy, and same as this. This is very like almost weighs nothing, um, and they replaced it with either something like this made of steel. That's real. That's much more heavier, and this plastic that has an internal metal, and so this is also heavy, and and uh, it flexes. That's the problem with metal. It flexes, whereas this alloys they do not flex, and you can buy yourself a set of these ones, almost identical. And it's almost the same weight uh, for twelve dollars. A whole set of these with the pads and everything from Canadian Tire. Uh, I have a scale here, so I'm going to show you later the difference in weight. But uh, I'm going to show you right now uh, the reason why these are so heavy. Is uh, for example, this wheel right here. The hub is entirely made of steel. This is not aluminum. So. Uh, it also needs a large area here. This is also steel, all steel, to cook this uh, metal rotor on. Uh, so they're using a lot of steel here. Whereas if you look at it, just a, a regular aluminum alloy wheel, this is a double wall. But this is so light. And uh, it doesn't have, it's not made for rotors, for a disc. But it's so much lighter than... Um, than the ones that have uh, uh, for, for disc. Same as this one. This one's alloy is the hub. And also this one down here is an alloy hub with a disc. So this would be better, but not much better because they have to use a lot of aluminum to mount this rotor. That's the problem. And then you're, you have um, these calipers which weigh like literally a ton. They're, uh, they're just junk. And this is all aluminum, but uh, it's still really heavy because there's all the, the metal screws and everything. So uh, even in the 1990s, when they were using these uh, these Shimano V brake, it was, in my opinion, as good as like hydraulic. That's how good these things are. If you if your pad is like a made by a good manufacturer, and you have something like uh, these Pro Max, the Shimano V brake system. Um, uh, not to say that Shimano all has the best, because if you buy something like this, this is the Shimano Tourney. This specific one, I put a magnet, this is plastic, inside is metal. That is garbage. Uh, because it's the same as this, this cheap stuff. It's gonna, it's gonna f flex when you're pulling it. So you're gonna have mushy brakes, and they're not gonna work good. Like, uh, also look at the size of these pads. These are much smaller than what's uh, these wider ones, you know? This is like junk. So they, they're, they're putting most of these on even $500 bikes these days, these metal ones. And they paint them sometimes silver to look like an alloy, but it's just a cheap metal. So if you have that, you can, uh, like I said, buy these ones for $12, a whole set of them, for Canadian Tire. Um, so uh, like these, these are, this is the older Shimano. These ones were still very good. Uh, they're more heavier a little bit, but it's all aluminum alloy. These are the more newer, it's an 8 speed, but it has the aluminum arm alloy. Like uh, if you're buying a bike, get yourself a, a magnet or something and check all these parts. Uh, you know, um, this one also is, is the Shimano, it's very good, it's alloy. Uh, and when you press the brakes on one of these, it's going to be very firm and you're going to have very good braking. 
And uh, if, if you don't have good braking with these V-brakes, it's because your rim uh, is, is too smooth. Uh, so some of these rims, they're actually putting a texture on them. That would be a better rim than this. This, the, it sort of slides over the surface unless you have like a good pad. But I find uh, like uh, old pads, they literally, especially on the back wheel, they kind of tend to slide uh, and not really grip that back wheel. But the disc brake, it, it doesn't work any better, even when these pads are slipping. So, um, uh, also, like for maintenance, it's so much easier to check your pad and to change your pad with this kind of setup. Whereas this kind of stuff, like who knows how to even take, like I couldn't even take this out. Uh, this is a, a newer pad maybe, but I couldn't even get that one out. This one, I was able to get it out. It's kind of magnetized in there and you pull it out with like a needle nose or something. But, uh, you know, you can't see really on, on while it's on the bike how much of a pad you have left or whatever, you know. And, you know, this is a, it's, it's just a gimmick to make you buy the bike like, oh my God, it has a disc brakes. So I'm going to buy this bike. But it, it's just garbage. It's so much added weight that's going to slow you down. Uh, like um, this kind of stuff over here. If if you, if I weigh it, I got the scale here. Uh, compared to these metal ones, uh, let, let's see the metal one. It's um nine ninety six uh, uh ninety five grams uh, with the pad and everything. Let's check uh, uh this uh, this uh, Pro Max one. Eighty one. Uh, 81 grams so uh, this this all adds up for each of these uh, uh, w when you're adding same as this the metal in there is much heavier than something like this which is the alloy this is a completely aluminum alloy there's no metal inside this one uh, you know so that it, all this weight just adds up and and the metal ones like I said you're gonna have a very mushy low quality braking you won't be able to stop properly with that kind of junk uh, this so you need something like this uh, you're gonna have a much lighter bike than with the disc brake setup and also um, you need specific kind of wheels to uh, to accept these these discs you can't just modify your bike and put disc brakes because your frame has to accept the caliper and everything like that and uh, you're also gonna run into the problem where this rotor will constantly be making noise sometimes hitting hitting the pad um, it, like uh, uh, the only benefit I would see of this is if your rim is bent it's not going to affect your brakes whereas if your rim is bent with uh, with uh, when you have these kind of brakes uh, the, the rim is going to keep hitting your brake pads and you're gonna have to loosen the pads uh, to to uh, you know accommodate but if you have disc it's not really going to affect you, but uh, like I said, they're they're using metal. This one's like a metal hub, which is ridiculous. Uh, all these other ones is uh, put a magnet in the center of the hub. You'll feel it uh, if it's alloy or aluminum in there. That's what you want. You want it as light as possible. But even still, like I said, it's still going to be much heavier than just a regular wheel. This is like this wheel weighs almost nothing compared to these. These weigh like twice as much, I would say, approximately. Like I didn't weigh them, but um, so so I would say the the V brake is is much better for performance and and um, and, and the weight on your bike than the 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 disc brakes. Uh, so, it, like I said, they're just trying to uh, make you uh, do an impulse buy because it has disc brakes. But uh, you're just adding more weight to your bike and you're going to get worse braking in the end with uh, these uh, majority of bikes. Unless this is a, a like several thousand dollar bike, then maybe you can say the disc brake is better and it's the same weight or something. But uh, for the majority of bikes, uh, it's, it's, it's not going to be a, a good thing for you to have these disc brakes. Uh, I had I had one with disc brakes, it, 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 it like it barely stopped compared to these V brakes. If uh, you have a good pads, and 
you know, uh, it's properly adjusted, these things will stop much faster than the, the, the disc brakes. Okay, so let, let's just take this one here and let's weigh it. So 212 grams. That's just one caliper. Let's try this caliper here. Two hundred and seventy three grams. Wow. So if you take uh, two of these, that would be equivalent. If you take uh, two of these with pads, that would be equivalent to one of these rotors, let's say. That's a hundred and sixty five grams. Uh, it's like half or, or something like that uh, of the weight. Uh, And that's not including the the rotor and the additional material they have to add to these wheels to mount the rotor this is a lot more weight Alright guys, uh, I guess that's it. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.